Joining us now, Chairman of the Libertarian Party, Nicholas Sarwark. What we have to do is follow the advice of Dr. Michael Osterholm, um, who is an infectious disease expert, who points out that this is not a coronavirus snowstorm. We don't hunker down for a couple of days and come out after it's over. This is a coronavirus winter, which means we're going to have to figure out how to live our normal lives as Americans. What we need is leadership from our government, right. Or if they can't lead, then what we need to do is look to leadership to people like Dr. Helen Chu, who, when told by the government to stop testing people in Seattle, ignored a law that would stop her from saving lives. We are the only political party in the country that's growing. Our numbers tripled. So it's a lot of math to do on a morning after a big election <laughs> night party, but that sounds good to me. Americans are likely to be faced with the choice between huge deficits, massive debt, massive government spending, a nation that's building walls and nationalizing the economy and bailing out farmers more than we bailed out the banks, or socialism. And uh, neither of those are really palatable. That's where the Libertarian Party has a really different take on this, that these are structural problems, not personality problems. It's not a matter of you didn't hire the right guy to be able to push a button and drone murder somebody at the other side of the world with no check or balance. The framers designed a constitution where we don't put that kind of awesome power in the hands of one person. Love sports. We buy tickets. We buy tickets because we like sports. What we don't do is we don't have the city government reaching into your, tax do your taxpayer pocket to take money and give it to billionaire sports developers. I oppose any government subsidy for any sports stadium in the city of Phoenix. Tariffs that the president has put on um, imports cause American manufacturers to go out of business. The Iraq war is old enough now to get drafted to go to the Iran war, although apparently not able to buy a pack of cigarettes. We all need to come together as Americans and set aside politics and remember the, that we should be trying to help each other. The American people are the most dynamic people that have ever walked the face of the earth.